You think that that's a mistake, Neil, because you think that the Fed is going to keep going and that inflation hasn't yet peaked? Well, I don't think core inflation has peaked, Lisa. There she is, Tom, my arch nemesis, now my best friend. <laughs> we're on the we're same side of the that, we're on Neil. the same yeah. side of the fence. Um, yeah, look, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think things changed at the June FOMC meeting. The Fed basically told us that it was willing to, um, you know, push the economy into recession to achieve its goals. And, you know, we went from it's going to be challenging to uh, achieve a soft landing to now it's going to be very challenging to achieve a soft landing. I mean, um, you know, the path is narrowing. I mean, they sort of use the, the, these kinds of, uh, you know, words to, to basically demonstrate how difficult the task is going to be. But, uh, you know, look, I mean, the last employment re report was a knockout. and. You know, essentially, I mean, we have uh, inflation significantly above target. You heard Mike McKee there talking about unit labor costs. I mean, unit labor costs are up a lot. You know, interestingly enough, during the pandemic, prices have actually been trailing unit labor costs, which in my view means that there's more upside to prices <coughs> going forward. Um, and despite the fact that price inflation is so elevated, financial conditions, what have they been doing over the last couple of weeks? Well, they've been easing. So to me, that suggests that the Fed has a lot more room to go. Um, I think the die is cast now for a 75 basis point move uh, at the September FOMC meeting, and they need to leave it on the table.